Hi, everybody. We are doing our first day with me teaching the lesson to you through a video. And then during class, we'll go through the lesson, answer questions, and do a little bit more work together as a class and practice it and make sure that um, we strengthen your knowledge. So we've got linear systems. Let me adjust here. Linear systems. Okay, systems of equations, guys. We need to have a ordered pair solution, right? X comma Y. And that ordered pair is going to work for both equations that we have. So on this first one, I've got... What are the approximate coordinates of the point of intersection? So where does the ordered pair, where do the two functions meet? So we could say like, if this is three, I don't know, 3.2 up to 4.6, how about that? Okay, order per solution, that's the solution, the point of intersection. Okay, so here, solving a system of linear equations. We need to sketch a graph and then we need to solve algebraically, okay? So, sketching a graph, you know, when we're given a graph and it's in standard form, you can change it to y equals mx plus b, or we can use intercepts, find the x-intercept, find the y-intercept. So if I put the x minus 2y equals 4 here, and I rewrite this one just so I have room, if I were to find the x and the y-intercept, then I would be plugging in 0 for both, right? So if I plug in 0 for x, I get 2y equals 3, y equals 3 halves, so I've got y equals one and a half. If I plug in zero for y, I get x plus two times zero equals three, x equals three. Right? So that's my x-intercept and my y-intercept for the first equation. So I'm gonna actually graph that. My x-intercept, and I'm gonna write it a different way. This is the better way to write it. So, x-intercept is three comma zero. Y-intercept is one and a half. So, here's my first line. Okay, second, let's plug in zero for x. Right? Zero is x, negative two equals four, y equals negative two. There's my y-intercept. To find my x-intercept, I plug in zero for x. To find my, sorry, x-intercept, I'm gonna plug in zero for y. x equals 4. So those two points, 4 comma 0, 4, and 0 comma negative 2, be like this, right? Okay. So this is graphing them. Solve algebraically. Solving algebraically with a system means that I'm going to probably elimination is the best way. So line up the system. Since I notice that my positive 2y and my negative 2y are going to cancel, I'm going to do adding 
2x equals 7. x equals 7 halves. Okay, well, 7 halves is the same as 3 and a half, or 3 and 1 over 2. Decimal or fraction is fine. Now, since I know my x, I can then plug in this x value back into my equation up here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use this. I think that I prefer 3.5. So I'm going to do top equation, x plus 2y equals 3. 3.5 plus 2y equals 3. Then subtract three and a half on both sides. Two y equals, okay, I have three and I'm taking away three and a half. So I'm not going under zero. Negative a half, negative 0.5. Okay, now since I have to do this two, We know that I could divide by two, but 0.5 divided by two, that's not really a decimal fraction combo that we enjoy in math. So another way is for me to multiply by the reciprocal times one over two. So now I've got negative 0.5 times one over two. And you're like, what? change them both to the same. My y value is negative one fourth. Okay, so the math wasn't easy. The math wasn't just whole numbers and it's like, oh, this is a piece of cake. No, we had to do a little bit of work. But that's the solution. Over three and a half, one, two, three and a half, down negative one fourth. Okay, make sure you have a straight edge. That really, really helps. All right. Turn the page, please. Why is there only one solution to a system of equations? Why only one answer, one ordered pair answer? Remember, a solution means an X comma Y. So there's only one solution because there is only one point of intersection. There's only one point of intersection, okay? All right, so that's good. Next, graph the inequalities. We need to change these to y equals mx plus b. It would be a lot easier in this case with the shading. So, x minus y is less than eight, x plus y is less than or equal to five. Okay, change them to y equals mx plus b. This should be easy for you by now. y is greater than one x minus eight, y is less than or equal to negative x plus five. Now, something to keep in mind with this, whenever you need to pause the video, do it. If you need to um, go back and look at something to review, do it. That's one of the benefits of actually seeing it online. First is that you can spend that extra time. All right, here we go. I'm going to graph this in blue and I'm going to graph this in red. And the shading, be careful. Here's something you need to remember. When I have a less than or greater than, it's a dotted line. When I have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it's a solid line. So we need to know that when we shade. Let's start with this blue. Begin at negative eight. I need to adjust the way this camera looks because it is in. Okay. Begin at negative eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My slope is one. Rise one, run one. Okay. Now, this symbol just says greater than, which means it's going to be a dashed or dotted line. So you're going to make a dashed or dotted line. Okay, so here's my dashed or dotted line. The shading says greater than. I need to shade greater than this line. Greater, above, more, higher. That's here, guys. Okay, now let's do the next one. Y is less than or equal to negative X plus five. Y is less than or equal to negative X plus five. So, five is my Y intercept. My slope is negative one. That's down one over one. Okay. This right here is going to be a solid line, less than or equal to solid line. And the shading says less than or equal to, lower, under, below the line. So that's gonna be here. Now, in systems of equations, I care the inequality is where the two shadings overlap. It's right here. So I'm gonna make it super dark. This area is my solution. Every single ordered pair in this shaded region is an XY coordinate that I could plug back into my original and get a true statement. Okay, so there are many, 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 many solutions. Why are there many solutions to the equation? Well, there are many points are in the shaded region. Many, many points are in the shaded region, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop there because we've got a two-day notes. This is two-dayer. So when we're in class, we will go over briefly just these notes. I'll ask questions if you understand, if you need more clarification, and then we're gonna spend time practicing this, working together, okay? So 1.6a, systems of equations and ordered pair answer. Sometimes it's just one order pair, like down here. Sometimes, if it's an inequality, my order pair answer is a giant shaded region. Okay? All right, great guys. Thank you, talk to you soon, bye.